Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments, I'm going to just call you JJ, your initials, and uh, you made a comment over my website. Uh, I think you got some good questions here. So uh, you say, hi, sir. Uh, I need your help. I am so confused right now. I don't know what to take. I think you want to see here, I don't know whether to take the IELTS or the TOEFL exams. In the IELTS, I need to get an overall score of 6.5, spoken band 7. Well, in the TOEFL, I need a total score of 100, 28 in the speaking section. Some people told me that the IELTS was easier but TOEFL than TOEFL, but others contradict that. Uh, I'm going to agree with those people. I, I think the uh, IELTS exam is easier than the TOEFL exam. That's my opinion. Now, you also say, my problem is I get anxious. I don't have enough self-confidence in my speaking. My anxiety strikes whenever I talk to a spoken English person. I'm afraid that they may laugh at me when I speak a wrong word or grammar. I don't even know if my English is good or bad. I took a test from English Town website. My score is upper intermediate. This is my first time to take an English exam. I do not have a baseline score. I need your advice, sir. Please help me. And could you tell me the difference uh, between the IELTS and the TOEFL exams? Uh, yes, you got a lot of good questions there. Uh, to help you understand the difference between the IELTS and TOEFL exams, I'll include a link to a video of a colleague named Rebecca who very clearly and in a detailed manner explains the differences between these two exams. So you can watch that video. Now, with your speaking and your anxiety, try not to worry so much. I mean, the main thing is you, you want to try to communicate as, as much as you can, so don't worry about native speakers. 99.9% .9 of all native speakers, they're not going to laugh at you when you speak English. They will help you. If you're in the United States, a lot of Americans, when, if you're a non-native speaker and you're speaking to them, they want to communicate with you. They're, they're, they're going to help you, not laugh at you. So try not to be so self-confident. Now, whether you're taking the IELTS or the TOEFL exams, you will need to practice posting speaking practice tests online because that's what you have to do when you take the test. So some students, as soon as the computer says begin speaking and they have like their headphones on and they have to do that, they have a lot of trouble with that. So uh, I think if you start posting speaking practice tests online that will also help build your confidence and that's what students do at my website. They go to my Voxipop discussion group. They'll, they'll do either a pronunciation or an independent and integrated speaking practice test and they'll post that online uh, for me to respond to. And uh, I, will, I give them comments to help them improve in three areas, specifically delivery, language use, and also topic development. Okay, anyway, uh, JJ, uh, hang in there. Keep working hard. Now, I'd love to have you as one of my students. Uh, you know what to do. I mean, you made a comment at my join page. So if you're interested in improving your academic English proficiency, beginning with vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, listening, reading, writing, and speaking areas, you simply need to join my course at this particular web page. And once you join, I'll send you an email uh, so you can get your username and your password. All right, anyway, thank you.